It's Miss Juicy, baby. Of course, you know I always got to come with some good cooking videos. I love you, all my J-babies. Again, it's Miss Juicy, baby. And I'm cooking super late because my big head girlfriend came over. So, you know, I got to cook her something to eat. But she don't know. She going to get a full course meal inside of a wrap, if you know what I mean. I always start off cooking with a nice, refreshing beverage. You know how you do. What I'm going to do is make a wrap, a veggie wrap, and it's going to be good. I don't know which one she's going to want. If we're going to use the sun-dried tomato or we're going to use the spinach, savory spinach. Either one, whatever I decide to use or whatever she wants. But anyway, the way you do, what I'm going to put in my wrap so you guys will know I've been cooking me some risotto rice and veggies, mushrooms. And cooking with some coconut oil. Just to, I just put enough, not a lot, coconut oil in there so you can, I can saute my veggies. I cheat, guys. Y'all know I cheat. These are my ingredients I use um, all of my veggies. I use my stir fry. Stir fry mix, which is my cabbage, my carrots, my red cabbage, green cabbage, and also my zucchini, my squash, thyme, everything, seasoning. As you can see, garlic, slap your mama. You name it. Fresh garlic, garlic, and garlic powder. Broccoli. And seasoning. And Moscato. Mm, mm, mm. I'm copying you guys while the oil kind of heat up a little bit. So that's what I'm doing. It don't take long for veggies to saute. So what I'm going to do is put my uh, garlic in first. So y'all know what I'm doing. I cook by sight. I'm not very good in measuring shit stuff. So, uh... <laughs> what did I do? So then I put it back in there. I forgot my onions and bell peppers, guys, so I have to go back in my refrigerator. Onion, bell peppers, tomatoes. Again, this is a wrap that I'm making, so I gotta make sure it's well seasoned. I'm not gonna use too much, cause she thinks she's pretty, honey, so <laughs> she be trying to eat cute and stuff. <laughs> If you know what I mean. Anyway, that's a Trinity mix. I'm going to only use half. So because I'm using half, I'm going to spread it out. Because I'm not going to eat all this food. I need to cook more than enough. I should have had all this stuff out before. But I'm slow, y'all. I make sure my hands are washed at all times. Because I'm constantly touching shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm just cutting the zucchini in smaller pieces and also the seasoning, the uh, thyme, the rosemary, all of that. Just making sure it's in smaller pieces so they can go inside of the wrap com comfortably. I usually use the zucchini noodles, the spiral noodles to go in. Sometimes I use, I use those and sometimes I don't. Okay. This also so they can go ahead and cook faster too. And you don't need big old chunks when you're trying to eat a wrap either. So, 
It smells good already. It does. Mm -hmm. the, um, the garlic. Mm -hmm. I have the iron on medium. I'm putting put the broccoli in. I don't need that much. I just need a little. Because I didn't use all of this, I'm gonna use it for something else. So I usually put it in the freezer bag to go ahead and put it up. But I'm also gonna put the rest of my stir fry in the freezer bag too. So I'm only gonna pour half of this in here. Just make sure I got pretty much all of the vegetables in there. doing tonight. This is quarantine cooking with Juicy. Uh, just cooking with Juicy, period. So what y'all been up to? Tell me what some of them are saying. Any chicken with the veggies? Um, only time I add chicken is if I use a mindful chicken. Because y'all know I'm pescatarian, so I really don't eat real chicken. I eat plant-based chicken, which is Mindful, that's the kind of chicken that I eat, is mindful chicken, which is plant-based chicken. But I'm not going to use any today. It's just going to be straight veggies today. Okay, what you making? I am making a veggie wrap. A veggie wrap. <clears throat> so now I'm going to use a little seasoning. I already have the garlic in there. I'm putting your slap your mama. You just need a little bit. You don't need a lot. So I already have garlic, but I'm adding more. I have real fresh garlic. Now I'm adding garlic powder and pepper. I do not add salt unless I use the Malaysian salt or sea salt if it's blue moon. But I usually try not to add salt because that particular season, slap your mama got everything in it. Someone said no olive oil or vegetable oil. No, I didn't. You didn't see me with no olive oil or vegetable oil. <laughs> Only thing you saw was coconut oil. See, this is what I use. Either I use olive oil or sometimes today I'm using coconut oil or avocado oil. Okay, this is what Juicy is using today. Just a little bit more. I already put a little bit in there, but not much. You don't want it to be oily and nasty. But anyway, now I done got this mix. Got some seasoning on it, and I use one more other seasoning just to let y'all know. Which one um, whichever one you'd like. I haven't had any of them, so you're the chef. You let okay, me know. Okay, well, we're going to do a, the balsamic roasted onion. Everyone's saying this hi. They love it. This is my Mediterranean seasoning that I use a lot. I love veggie roasters. You can, they come like two packages. I already have garlic and different things like that. So, of course, I get a lot of garlic in my food. Put garlic on everything. You can use these on Brussels sprouts, any kind of veggies. And it's really, really good, guys. Of course, you're not going to use my purple. Someone said, I love that Slap Your Mama seasoning. Baby, you better tell somebody <laughs> because it's good. And you can put that on everything. Slap Your Mama seasoning is just the bomb. At first, the only place I was getting it from was in... I would always have to travel all the way to Louisiana to get it, okay? But now all over the world is getting it. I'm going to say coconut oil is not good for you. Try grapeseed or avocado, okay, avocado oil. Okay, I'm what I want. I, I didn't ask for nobody's opinion. If you don't think coconut oil is good for you, then you use use whatever you want to use. But Juicy is using coconut oil because that's what Juicy want to use. How about that? I didn't come on here to get y'all opinion on what I should use. If I need to ask for that, then I will ask for that. But right now, what Juicy is cooking with is coconut oil because that's what she chooses to cook with. Thank you. Somebody I said. just want y'all to know. 
They see you getting that waist snatched. I am trying to get a snatch boo. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know I'm getting it. Okay, where's my... Uh, I got a long way to go, y'all, but I'm working. Juicy is working, boo. So anyway, now I got the seasoning on here. And God, just make sure it's mixed real good, which it is. And you got it on medium high. You just want to put that on there and let it go ahead and simmer. Everyone's saying you hi and they check love you. This one more time. Make sure it's good and steam. I went, home, went ahead and put this on first because it takes rice. This is rice ricotta. Well, actually, it's rice cauliflower. Cauliflower rice. So, y'all wouldn't know what it is. I don't feel like hearing nobody mouth. White rice is not good for you. It's cauliflower rice. <laughs> Just stop, baby. Thank you guys for the stars. I love you. Remember, for all my J babies, um, remember the stars. When you guys give Miss Juicy stars, I love you. I really appreciate it. And that show me how much you love me. And what I'm going to do for you guys is give a special gift to all of my J-Babies. So continue to watch. And don't forget to follow me also on my YouTube page. Because I put all my videos, cooking videos, interviews, uh, gardening with Miss Juicy, <coughs> painting, whatever Miss Juicy is doing. I put that on Instagram as well too. So, or on my YouTube page, which is... Juicy Queen of Atlanta. That is my YouTube page. Juicy Queen of Atlanta. Instagram page, Miss Juicy RSMS. Facebook, The Real Miss Juicy. And Shirley Miss Juicy King. Here's one of them. But anyway. <laughs> Someone said, How long have you been pescatarian? Um, oh, do you remember how long? I don't. It's been some years. Let's, let's go with two years right now, okay? Because I used to have to fight to get you to eat right. Yeah, that's my girlfriend that y'all hear her voice. I'm glad y'all hearing her and don't hear a man in the background because I don't need no more comments of who that man with her. The man that you heard in the background was my videographer before, but now it's my girlfriend today. Just wanted y'all to know because I had a lot of comments on it. I love you. Uh, you see any stars coming in? You're at 350. Oh my God, you guys are so awesome. I love you. Let me check this. I won't be burning no food. I ain't got time yes, y'all be talking about me. They're saying they love you, too. Your food looks good. Do it. Look at that. I don't want to overcook the vegetables. That's the reason why I went ahead and did that first. Do you like guac? Guac? I don't even know what that is. Guacamole. Oh, guac, yes. I thought um, you said guac. I'm like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> so, anyway, there we go. Somebody said, how do we give you stars? Uh, you go to Facebook. And it goes to the page that you're on right now. The page that you're on right now, the way you give me stars, and it'll tell you would you like to purchase stars from Miss Juicy. And that's the way you do it. Someone said they just love your spirit. Thank you so much. But what we're going to do is, I'm going to put my friend to work. She don't know it yet. <laughs> I need a glass of wine. <laughs> Yes. But God is good for y'all. Just thought maybe you should know. Hello okay. from Texas. You from Texas? I'm from Texas too. I love you guys. Can you get your plate off? I'm ready. Out of where? In here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. <laughs> Texas in the house. Detroit said hello. Detroit in the house. Hi. Hello, beautiful. Was it hard to become a pescatarian? No, it wasn't. It was not very hard at all to become. Because by the time what had happened was, <coughs> I, um, what had happened was the way I became, oh, Lord. I started, I can't tell you exactly everything. Okay, I started the way I became pescatarian. I wanted to get my weight down. And what I did was, I, um, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'll just do this. Um, what I did was, 
I went straight vegetarian first. Well, no, that's a lie. I started <laughs> eating healthy. I took out meat one by one. Pork, chicken, turkey, beef, one by one, I, I started taking them out. And so because I started taking it out one by one, I was able to get used to not eating it. And so when I started getting away from all meat completely, it was okay. Because it wasn't hard then. Because I just left it out alone and I didn't have the, the taste for it. But when I started getting, when I want meat, I started experimenting with other things like, that's when I started experimenting with um, plant-based meat. So whenever I want some beef, or I want some tacos or something like that, I use Beyond Meat. And when I want chicken, I find mindful chicken. Trust me, I started trying all other stuff first and it was nasty. So I was like, oh, I don't want that, I don't want that. So I eliminated a lot of stuff and then I started finding stuff that I like. <laughs> what I'm doing now is fixing some guac to spread so the tortilla, when I uh, put the stuff on there, in other words, your house. I don't want to put dressing on there because I don't eat ranch. Stuff like that. Not even ranch white. I don't eat none of that stuff. Do you put your recipes on your site? Um, I am working on me a cookbook right now for you guys. Nice. So. That purple hair is fire. Huh? That purple hair is fire. Thank you, boo. I appreciate it. Y'all know I love me some purple hair. So. Is the show coming back? Yes, the show will be coming back real soon, guys. We all trying to get over all of this mess that's going on right now with COVID and everything else, and then we'll be back eventually. But until then. Okay. Hi, from Huntsville, from North Carolina. I guacamole seasoning. I already got my little pico in there. You look good. Keep up the good work. Thank you, baby. I got a long way to go. Love you. I love all you guys. Kimberly Rush says she on the way. Oh, hey, boo. <laughs> What's up, Kim? That's my girl right there. <laughs> girl, you know you ain't on the way. You out there. You out there in Dallas. Trina from North Carolina says she just sent you a hundred stars. You're at 950 stars. Thank you so much for the stars, y'all. Don't they look good? So, what would you like? Would you like the sun-dried tomato or the savory spinach? You are the chef. You just surprised me. Okay, so you like both? Yep. I do, too. Hello from Mississippi, from Sandersville, Georgia, from South Carolina. So, I'm going to turn this hour off, guys, and mix it real good again. Because, again, I don't want to overcook my veggies. So, I see that. You see how... Tempted they are. Mm -hmm. Say, I can just break it with this. Mm -hmm. But you don't, again, you don't want to overcook it. So, anyway, so what I'm doing is stirring it up, make sure it's mixed real good, putting this hour back on it while I get ready, while I get my tortilla ready. It smells so good, y'all. <laughs> I'm in love with spinach wrap, so we're going to try to save these spinach today. Okay. Should I do both and then just cut them half and then we both have them? Go ahead. Sounds good. Whole? I'm going to try my best. So, y'all, I'm going to do two. I'm going to do one spinach and I'm going to do one tortilla. Okay. Because I don't want to overcook it. Okay. And I'm going to do tomato. What's the best way to start a diet? Because she can't seem to stick with it. Don't wean yourself off of nothing. I mean, wean yourself off of stuff. Don't go cold turkey on nothing. <clears throat> start with a little bit at a time. That's the best way to start a diet. I don't know because I'm not on a diet. I can't stick to diet either. I just start eating healthy. But you know what? Eating healthy, eating healthy is not necessarily being nasty. So you start finding foods that you like. Okay, so tell Juicy Rodney said, what's up from Detroit? If she say hi, I will buy some stars. I don't know who the hell Rodney is. <laughs> Rodney, you better show me a picture before I say hi. How about that? You got to be fine and packed and, and six foot or above 
What did you just sprinkle on the guac? Oh, seasoning. <clears throat> guac seasoning. Seasoning, seasoning, seasoning. Brandy, seasoning. De Brandy Dean said, I love you. I'm your number one fan. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Someone said eating healthy is expensive. It depends on what, no it ain't. It depends on how you do it, trust me. Miss Juice ain't got a lot of money, but she do what she got, what she can do and what she got to do. <laughs> Thank you, for Patrice. Little bit at a time, baby, little bit at a time. Anyway, the way we're going to start fixing this is. Kimberly Rush said she's going to whoop you. <laughs> don't whoop me, mama. I'm going to tell, tell your son on you, you try to whoop me. We're going to see who the boss then. <laughs> So, you drink that Moscato, guys. Guac. This is what I'm using the guac for. To put, you're going to spray it out on your tortilla. That looks so good. I love guac, so that's the reason why I ain't being, I'm not going to be. Being generous. Yes. <laughs> Very generous, guys. Just spray it out. You don't want to put too much. There we go. Now I can assemble. Start with the risotto. Your kitchen is so cute. Thank you so much. I hope you ain't seen how junky it is. <laughs> but this is cauliflower risotto. Mushrooms, bell pepper, celery, all that onion. Mix it up. Again, you don't want to put too much. Just enough. Juicy, so sassy. I love it, though. <laughs> Y'all know I can't help it. <laughs> I love you, I love you, I love you. You have a lot of I love you. I love all you guys. What was his name, Rodney? Mm -hmm. Hey, Rodney. What's in that cup, Queen of Atlanta? It's Moscato, baby. Y'all know the juice can't have nothing without the <laughs> <no> Moscato. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Good. I'm going to go ahead and put this lid on this um, guac. So the air and all that stuff, even though we probably end up eating it tonight. <laughs> but that's all we're going to put on there for right now. Okay. Put that in the refrigerator and let that call it a day. So now I get to assemble. I'm going to show y'all one at a time. Okay, here we go. Let's put the veggie mix. You got your broccoli, cauliflower already on here. You got your... Zucchini, you got your regular squash, you got your green beans, they're like snap peas, you see them? Carrots. Okay, a little bit at a time. Don't that look good, guys? Yay! <laughs> now, what we're gonna do is roll it. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Roll it up, fold the ends, yeah. I should have folded the ends first, but I didn't, so. So I'm gonna fold the ends after I roll half of it. Pearl says, send her a wrap through the phone. Who? Pearl Nicole Bodison says, send her a wrap through the phone. Okay, <laughs> keep waving. There go your wrap, guys. Cut it in half. Do you have any pets? No. I don't have any pets, guys. I said it looks amazing. It looks really good. There go your spinach wrap. Your savory spinach veggie wrap. Y'all like that? So now let's assemble the other one. <clears throat> Miss Juicy, you have a beautiful spirit and warm hot. Heart, may God continue to bless you. Thank much you love. so much. I appreciate you. You guys don't know how much I appreciate you guys. More than you know. You motivate me to keep going. Look at all this cabbage, girl. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I might put too much on this one. This Looks delicious. Huh? Looks delicious. 
Thank you so much. I know it looked delicious. It's going to taste delicious, too. I promise you that. Someone said if you whip the sides, it'll stick. What? Probably the wrap to keep it closed. Oh, okay. <laughs> I used to work at Taco Bell. That was my first job. Okay? <laughs> I'm cutting this broccoli piece of ham. So, okay. But I can't cut too deep because I don't want it to cut the thing. So, anyway... This is what I should have did at first, guys, was fold the sides first. Yeah, it smells so good. It do. Because <laughs> it came out of who kitchen? Juicy, baby. <laughs> okay. Your plates are adorable. Huh? Your plates are adorable. Thank you so much. Y'all talked about me so bad with my paper plates, I decided to get some real plates. Now, I already had some. I just don't like to wash dishes. <laughs> How about that? So, anyway... So, here we go. Look at that, boo. One wrap down, one more to go. Keep doing your thing. Love you. You're amazing. Now, I'm almost done. <laughs> <laughs> now, I got to make sure all the eyes are off. Now it's time for me to eat. Do you ever roast or brown the veggies? Huh? Do you ever roast or brown That's the veggies? That's what I was doing. Yeah. I, uh, okay. I love you guys so very much. This is Cooking with Miss Juicy. These are your veggie wraps. <laughs>